What's up, guys? I hope you're all doing well today. All you have are macaroons. You should you should have it. You should have a cat. Uh, it's a a sub thing. So if you're a sub, you should have a, a cat. I, I'm currently testing out something and sadly I think I'm right which kind of bugs me Ugh. maybe you have too many icons it should be there you, you just uh, you just need to click in your um, icon identity right about what um, so I have, as you guys know, I, I have tits installed. Um, and in order to have tits to work, I need to connect it through internet so that it communicates with my program. I find that kind of stupid, but that's how it works. The thing is, you mean the bullying machine? Yes. The thing is, uh, the program that I use to also have my character change also use the same kind of technique. And I think that because of that, they both use too much internet or too much something. It's too demanding, I think. And because of that, it makes my internet crash and very unstable. Because right now, everything is closed and my internet has no problem. Maybe they use the same port. They, they do use the same port. Yesterday it worked alright. It did not work alright. We had problem with internet too yesterday. <laughs> it did not work alright. Both the day that I had both program open, my internet was finicky. We started the stream, I had both program open and the stream kept crashing every two seconds. We restarted everything. And then my my stream refused to connect. And now that I have everything closed, I'm not getting any drop frames. So I think the fact that those two program or maybe I think I think this is okay by its own, but the other one takes too much. Because even when I close tits, um, I, I need to call it something else. The bullying program, there you go. The bullying machine. When I closed the bullying machine, I still had a problem with the internet. But the second I closed it, everything went back to normal. So yeah, I really think... Uh, it's a problem. Uh... I guess it means that we should avoid using those in the future, so I can't turn you into a pudding anymore. Um, for today, no. What I'm gonna do, though, is that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my uh, my stream deck, and I will connect uh, hotkeys so that I can actually control it. So when you guys redeem it, I'm gonna have to do it manually. So it will it will be possible. Never mind. I'm getting drop drop frames. It will be possible to um, to do it, but not for today. I I'm starting to get drop frames. All right, I think I think my my problem is maybe not that. <laughs> and also, it's also very windy outside, so too costly. Uh, I actually reduced the price. Honestly, because I would have used all my channel points. Yeah, I, I actually reduced the price. By a lot. Sure, it's fine though. I got a single warning. Now it seems okay. But yeah, I, I if I have any problem, I'm very sorry, guys. There's not much I can do, sadly. We've restarted everything. So, from this part on, um, it's on the hand on the ends of the, the the internet gods so pray to the internet gods that everything goes smoothly or as smoothly as possible 
because as you said Rage earlier to me um, it is pretty windy outside so maybe it's affecting the internet I don't know I don't know how things works I'm just a kitty what do I know I came or up You know, every time I, I look at GamerSub's website, I keep seeing uh, the Emotional Damage and Shy Lily's flavor and I want to try them. But I bought three flavors and I'm still not even halfway through. I thought that I would finish them a long time ago. Because it's like, how many servings? Okay, no, it's kind of, it's a lot. Never mind. It's like 60 servings. Never mind, I thought it was like 20 or something. How much is this one? 60 and 60. Okay, they're all 60. But it still feel full. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, 60. That is way more than a lot of company. <laughs> How many are supposed to drink per day? I think there is a limit. Uh, gamer. Sup. Um. They recommend to not go over four scoops in a 24 hour period so what i have right now is my small um actually i'm doing blasphemy because i'm using my rogue energy cup to use gamer sup but whatever who who, who would know right <laughs> so my rogue energy is about 16 ounce and my gamer sup cup is a uh, 25 ounce in my rogue energy I use two scoops so basically if I if I would use to uh, if I would use the uh, gamer sub cup I could only drink probably one one a day but because I use a smaller I could probably get away with two also, it also explain why it's so sugary in this cup. I should have way more water for two scoops. Oh well. I've angered the gamer gods. That's why the internet is fucked up. Sheesh. I don't. I don't drink it that often, though. It's pretty rare. I mean, I drank it yesterday and today, but before that, it's been several weeks. I could say even maybe two, three months, I don't remember. It's been a while. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Answering gracious questions. <laughs> so I, I made uh, beef stroganoff before going to bed. It's in the crock pot and it's currently cooking. And I had questions about that. Beef stroganoff! Okay. I see drop frames, but when I look at the stream, other than the fact that I have a delay, it seems stable enough. So we're gonna risk it. We're gonna go through it. Let's... There we go. That was my my switch. Food that is unfortunately one hour late. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, at least I made it. 
Because I, I completely forgot about it and then... I think it was around... 8 a.m. I was watching a TV show and around 8 a.m. I was like, Oh shit, right, beef stroganoff. <laughs> and, and I made it very quickly, so the chance that it's good is kind of slim. Sorry. <laughs> I did follow the recipe, but let's just say everything is against me. So, yeah. The curse is real, let's say it that way. And then I went back to my... To my show. Now you're scared? Well, I couldn't find the original recipe, so I followed one that was close enough. Uh, but the one that I follow said to add water to it, and I'm like... that That's... that's not right. Why would I put water to it? I, I'll just dilute the, the taste. It's like, what? So I just put more beef broth. <laughs> but yeah. Dragon mode. Rawr. 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 Alright, let's switch the game, shall we? Let's go. Oh, hey, I have cracklings. Wait, is it cracklings or it's? I think it's just the flames. Okay, because the flames also make crackling sound. So it kind of confuses me sometimes. Let's not go! Why not? You don't want to end? You don't want it to end? Alright, Cyrus. Why not Mario? Alright, let's jump right into it then. The story so far was of Cyrus's search for the ins di blah, blah, let me start that. That started very badly. The story so far was so Cyrus's search for the ancient tome led him to Stoneguard, where Headmaster Yvonne lay in wait. Using the forbidden blood magic gleaned from those pages, he aspired to powers to powers unholy and profane. But Yvonne, more demon than man at the end, met his demise. P Preposterous! I... I am all-powerful! I am eternal! Immortal! They were all lies! Such were his last words. But who lied to him? And what was their ultimate aim? Was Cyrus fully prepared to face the truth that awaited him? A forbonding, forbod, forbod, forbonding, forboding, sorry, a forboding shadow fell over him as he came to Duskborough. Ten dollars is this? I mean, of course it is. Research. She was like, ha ha ha, I'm evil, and then she disappeared. So yeah, it's, it's her. Let's be honest here. And there we are. Somewhere in this town lies the headmaster's ultimate destination. Given the, the blah, given the nature of his research, it is reasonable to assume that there is a secret laboratory of some sort. In the woods? I mean... Hmm. I will get to the bottom of this no matter what. There she is. Hmm? That's the headmaster's assistant, Lucia. Was it? Oh, that door is definitely like a secret lab of some sort. Now that I recall, she disappeared after that incident at the headmaster's house. What's her role in all of this? Oh, also, if there's uh, if the stream cuts or anything, I'll keep going because uh, I am recording this. So if you miss anything, don't worry. It's on Patreon. You'll you'll be able to catch up later. I, I want to try to avoid as much as possible some long pause for for the video. So yeah, don't worry. Miss anything? It's all on Patreon. 
I'm gonna I must not let her out of my sight. Follow Lucia. Uh am I full life? Yes. Wait, it's like I... this. Really? I just got his uh My food will be here in five minutes? Alright. Pick an item. Whoops. No, no, no. I need I need a summon. Is he actually is he any good? Oh it's real bad. An item That's the quest item. I don't know why I got it because let's be honest, we're ending this today. Oh hey, a chest for Therion. You know what? Since uh So I'm gonna grab that because it's there we go. Capturing my attention. Since we're already here and that there's a tavern right there. I'm gonna get that chest. Gimme give gimme give Therion. I love to see him in front. Best character. My foot is itchy. Money! So much money. There we go. God. Seeing Cyrus as a dancer still feels so... So wrong. Wisdom? Oh, I don't have money for these. Those are really good, but also very expensive. Um... Try to get enough. So we're at the end. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Actually, I need more money. Says everyone in the world. Oops. Clarity, confusion. I have enough olive. Okay. Oh, they're already equipped. Okay, that's why. I mean, it puts my elemental attack kind of down, but Trissa is a, a warrior, so she doesn't really need... Um, she doesn't really need that elemental attack. It's just good all, all around for her. Alright. Summon. Are you good? So... Discount. Ooh. Eh. That could be good. That could be good. I mean, extra defense? Why not? Stomach is growling, but it's okay because my food is coming. 
Alright, uh, I'm gonna leave everybody hello alone here. Did I? Nope, I didn't get to. I got an item for quests. I just it's like I just on a witch quest. My food is here. God, I'm starving. <gasps> what a strange door! A strange door! All right, she was just here. Dude, there's a freaking door! How could you see it? Wherever could she have gone? Say thing to the obvious, please. Hmm? What's this? We here. A button of sorts. Should I press it? Yes. Press all the buttons. All of them. I see. Rage just brought me three packets of ketchup and a coleslaw. I was like, here, that's your food. Like, really? Really? <laughs> Nothing happened. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. No, you have to go in front and go like open sesame and then a bracket bra and then it's gonna go like Whee! Yeah yeah yeah, okay. Perhaps I should pull it instead, sure. Press, pull, lick, bite, do whatever you want. <laughs> I must be losing my wits. How does one even go about pulling a button? It's not that hard. Depending on the button. Call, call? No. No call, call. That sounds weird, but... <laughs> Specifically, Rage trying to steal my food. Oh. Go away! <laughs> You're not a bird! Alright, so, not press, not pull. Smash, twist, ignore. Smash! Smash everything. It couldn't be. Heaven forbid. That would quickly put an end to any further trial and error. Really? You didn't want to because I didn't try the other? Twist it! Pull it! Smash it! Bump it! This is ridiculous. They really I think they really made the joke of pop it. Aha. Well, this is a turn. Really? Cyrus is exactly like Rage. Also, I'm sorry if you guys can hear me eat. I'm just starving. So. And I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Gamer subs with fries sounds weird, but it tastes good as hell. Because I, I have powder again on my finger. 
and uh, I dip I dip my fries in barbecue sauce. So it's like barbecue sauce, fries, and gamer sub. What the fuck? And for some reason, it tastes good. What did you n do now? He made a pun. He's just like you. He made a pun. And it was like, haha. Barbecue sauce on everything is awesome. Yes. I will battle. Run. <clears throat> what to do? Please. Don't do me like that. Actually, if I use all my sauce in my fries, I'm not gonna have any for my chicken. Um. Mm. Uh. Try to, to break chicken down with one hand. It's not easy. Okay, I successfully ran away. I have to use both my fingers. Both my hand, not fingers. <laughs> both my hand. Alright. Hmm. This wall seems quite old. Yet it still stands strong. What are these curious patterns? Look how perfectly they're aligned. Whatever could they be for? Aha! Wait, that's it! Together, the marking illustrates something. Really? Took you that long to figure it out? Here. They billow and swell. An ocean? A flood? Seems to be depicting something overflowing. And yet the depiction is abstract and surreal. Wait, I've seen this marking. I've seen markings like these somewhere. Atlantis. <gasps> sure. It's a summoning ritual to, to summon Gura. We're gonna have Gura. That's why she doesn't stream any anymore, is because we need to summon her. Of course. The runes of High Horn. Hornbergian? Okay, sure. I'm fighting with my chicken. Runes are being used to paint a picture. Please shut up so I can eat. Might there be a hidden message contained within? Might not be a hidden message contained within. I don't know. I think I read that very badly. Sorry. It is as if the rune the runes are flowing forth from some kind of gate. <sighs> Though I hate to admit it. I fear deciphering this will take more time than I have. I should move on. Alright, eating my chicken. Give me a second, guys.
I missed my mouth by a lot. I just put sauce, first of all, all over my shirt, but also all over my cheek. God damn it. I have sauce everywhere. How? I don't know. I probably don't know how to eat. I'm a child. Is there a chest or something over here? Oh. Wait, what? I mean... I mean, I'm getting money at the same time. What is this? Sorry, what? Oh, uh, whatever. I'll assume that this is a place. Happy Earth Day, by the way. Sorry, Earth. I, I, I was supposed to close all electronic and stuff for you, but um, stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll get tree. Maybe that's why my internet is shit. <laughs> Punishing me because I'm not celebrating Earth Day. What have we here? Uh, please tell me I don't have like a boss here. And here we have a library of sort. I mean, it looks pretty. All these stones. Did Headmaster Yvonne procure them all? It couldn't be. Uh, volume seven of Trial of the Twelve. Only the first five volumes are extant. Forbidden gold, Covenant of the Sage. These books were all said to have been lost ages ago. Well, I mean, he has a, a thieving problem, what can I say? And what's this? A personal di dictionary for the translation of ancient tongues? Did the headmaster collect all this by himself? Uh, no, he has no. an assistant, dumbass. No, that would be impossible for even the most esteemed of scholars. <clears throat> no, such a vast re rep repository? Yeah, such a vast repository of knowledge as have been accumulated over decades, even centuries. Hmm. Centuries? I mean, chill. It's not that many books. Take one book a day and you have already one bookshelf full. At least. <clears throat> or maybe an, Im an immortal witch has been keeping tabs over the century? Sheesh. <coughs> From this trove. To those odd walls paintings, this place is one enigma after the next. One thing is clear. If there's a mastermind behind all this, I can expect to find him here. Stuffing my face with chicken. Stuffing my face with chicken. Um, oh, 
there we go. I was like, I thought it was a door there. <laughs> gonna fight is another mage considering the story <laughs> so I might wanna keep an eye on my elemental defense I think I'm good actually Damn, where did I get the hat? I don't remember. Hmm. That would have been good. Actually. Uh, prevent silence, that's good. HP. Do I really need that HP? Increase the chance of encountering enemies? No. Uh, recover HP after every action. That would be nice. Uh, sure. I haven't paid much attention to these. And it shows. Skip that. Hmm. Accuracy could be nice, but... Get more defense. But I think I'm gonna put it on Trissa. So let's give him like insane amount of HP. Considering he's my tank. instant death. Do I need to, uh, to worry about that? Is it something I need to worry? Ice, fire, critical, those sucks. Alright. Elemental. Yeah, I don't have any more for elemental. What can I do? Well, her physical defense is pretty low considering her elemental. So might as well. Should always worry at least a little. Alright. Do you have... Okay. So, I think overall this is okay. Her evasions suck, but... I think she's gonna be okay. I think everything's gonna be... Mucho bueno. I was trying to find another word, but I couldn't. Ouch, that hurts. Ah! Sorry about that. You truly are every bit as brilliant as old Yvonne said. The desk. All right, I'm gonna eat while she insults me in a sexy voice. Let's go, mommy. I did not come here for false flattery. Oh, but I was being quite sincere. A shame the purport eludes your grasp. To think you were the one pulling the strings. The headmaster was merely your puppet all along. Very astute. Yes, it was I who maneuvered to install him in that position in the first place.
Guys, is it me or... Her voice acting is kind of weak. Is it just me? Like, her voice is too... I don't know, there's no emotion to her voice. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm too used to the, uh, ha ha ha, you know? But she's very like, yes, it was I who did this. And I was like, yes, it was I who think about it, of course, you know? I don't know. It, it seems too tame. I don't know, it's, maybe it's just me. Sorry. Let's continue. To my dismay, they had a willful streak that got in the way. One might say the fault lies in the person who chose him for the task. One might say that, yes. Now, let us proceed to the matter at hand. Not necessarily dramatic, but... She's quiet, you know? She's too soft, that's what I mean. She's too, like, casual conversation, whatever, when she should be a little bit more... I don't know. But once again, maybe it's just in my head. Sorry about that. Your search for the original copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell has miraculously led you to me. In finding me, you have displayed some measure of knowledge and acumen. More than anything, you have shown a pure and unrelenting passion for seeking out the truth. I hold that particular quality in the highest regard. <sighs> what say you, Cyrus? Will you join me in my research? Ridiculous. If that is a jape, it is a poor one. A jape? What a curious reaction from a scholar like yourself. The wall paintings in this place, did they not pique your interest? Did your heart not race when you saw the countless lost tomes in my study? To say I was not intrigued would be a lie. Of course you were. Yes, any true scholar would feel the same. See what I mean? Like, she was supposed to scream the of course you were. But she was of course you were. Instead of like, of course you were. You know? Because the, the, the text box shows as if she was like shouting it. So it feels like she's trying as much as possible to... To do her line without waking up somewhat some somebody nearby. <laughs> I don't know, she's very soft. It sounds weird. Alright, I'm stopping this. <laughs> I'm gonna stop complaining about it. Well not complain, but pointing it out. I must unravel these mysteries. I must have the answers. Your mind, no, your very soul burns with an all-consuming desire to know. That is what separates you from the rest, Cyrus. We are true seekers of knowledge, you and I. Together, we can unlock all the secrets behind our world. I'll pass. How can you refuse? You covet the mysteries of the universe. You yearn to know the truth. Surely you can stand shoulder to shoulder with me. There you go. Now she's delivering that line kind of properly. <laughs> 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 
That's it exactly. What? What is it? Surely you. I take issue with your solicitation. You don't care who you use in your schemes. What of Headmaster Yvonne? Don't be ridiculous. He was devoid of the passion you have. He was nothing but a pawn to the end, incapable of envisioning an ultimate goal. On what grounds do you base that assumption? Can a man if you found him wanting, why did you Sorry not about teach that. him? Teach him? Take him on as your pupil. Impart your vast knowledge that he might one day be your peer. <laughs> Preposterous. You speak the impossible. Mediocrity is as mediocrity does. Knowledgeable as he was, his own actions prevented him from ever approaching genius. A genius such as yourself must understand this. There's where you and I differ. I haven't given up on mediocrity. As scholars, we learn from the past to better understand the present and pass our knowledge on to the future. What do you mean to do with the knowledge you amass? The secrets you unravel? Carry them to your grave, content they are inscrutable to all who do not possess your genius. You would call them simpletons, fools, feeble minds. I say it is you who lacks the ability to teach and inspire. Ugh. A true scholar does not look down on others for what they do or do not know. Those who know impart knowledge to those who do not. If something is wrong, those who know the answer correct it. The process repeats, bringing us closer and closer to enlightenment. I teach my students with the expectation that one day they will surpass me. I long for the day when I will have the chance to learn from them. Enough! I've given you plenty of opportunities to make a move. Any move. But clearly, we are going nowhere fast. If you would rather die without discovering the truth, so be it. I have already synthesized a perfect blood crystal, precisely as detailed in the original tome. With it, I will cast off the shackles of humanity. <laughs> no, me, <mais> ta gueule! <laughs> Which in English translates like, uh, will you just shut up? <laughs> That's how this feels. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Careful with the mute. What do you mean? When I press it, a it makes human a lot of sense. can only learn so much in its short lifetime. I will gain the time, the power, to understand everything. That's what you mean, Raish. You may be a fool, but to show no hard feelings, you can participate in an empirical analysis of my newfound power.
If believing in the future makes one a fool, then call me a proud fool. But know this, when I emerge victorious, I will unravel the secrets of that tome and arrive at my own answer. Let this be a lesson to you. The future of mankind is bright. I cannot fail. What in God's name is this blasphemy? Jesus. Dirty! Well, then. Excuse you, lady! Let me, uh, let me summon my villager here. No, then. Oh, it removes. Okay, I thought it was a defense for me, but no, it actually lowers defense. Nice. Why do you have to turn into a muscly monster? Hey, that's what happened when you fuck with dark magic. I was up in like a Giga Mage. Me too! <laughs> but at the same time it makes sense considering uh, Yvonne also turned into a, a Giga monster. <clears throat> but yeah, what the fuck? 30 turn? Well, 30 shield? Also, ow! Bitch! How about this? Have at you. Use this. Maybe like her being a lish. God, she hurt. That's for sure. The battle is truly joined. I really hope she doesn't have a lot of life. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. So you know what? I'm gonna boost. Out of my way. Cause she's- oh wow, I can miss. Cause she's very far from being about to break. And once again, I forgot to change Cyrus. Alright, out of curiosity, since Cyrus is gonna... Oh, Cyrus is gonna have another turn after anyway. Let's just... It's not, that's not a lot of life. I feel like what his weakness is gonna be all about uh, weapons for some reason. That's bonk. Nope. All right. Victory uh, I've wasted shall that. Be mine. But now that I know that, please don't miss a bunch of time. <laughs> eh, three. Not so bad. What to do? Hmm. Barely deals any damage. Oh, Jesus, oh Christ. I'll not be defeated. Bring about a miracle of healing. <clears throat> yeah, keep him down. Ow. Now, what next? Nothing will quiet the storm. I think light is gonna be one of his weakness. I just don't know the other one. Can you stop? So let me test my theory. Oh, sacred light! It's not! Alright. What the fuck then? <coughs> That was bad. Can't it don't give up? Okay, she has a revive. Now, what next? Right, what the freak are you weak against? Because uh, I'm not dealing damage here. It's all what weapon! Then? What the fuck? Alright. Bring about a miracle of healing! No. Uh. All right. 
since it's kind of slowly getting close to. Ooh, that was great. Ow! Now I'm gonna use Cyrus to heal himself. I'm gonna summon. Now, what next? Alright, heal yourself. Let's try this. <clears throat> Let's do this. God, I gotta pray for a second. I was about to rage. No, my blade is unbending. I wreak havoc upon thee. My turn now. Hmm. Catch me again. <laughs> I'll not be defeated. I mean, might as well. Take this. Cause we're at the end, so. Truly joy. Uh, ice and fire. All right. Have a taste of this. Get her. <laughs> yeah, she does switch. All right. <gasps> oh, well. Now, what next? A tempest of ice shall rain. Nice. I will not be defeated. So I think she's gonna be fire, thunder, wind, light. I think. Just to be sure Bring that I'm good. No, three. Beat him! That's right, beat her! <laughs> beat her up! Alright, I'm pretty sure for that thunder. But... No. Have a taste <laughs> of this! Since this is confirmed. Here I go! Let's try this. Yep, and then it's gonna be light. <laughs> nice. <gasps> Ouch. Less nice. The battle is truly joined. So I can confirm thunder. Have a taste of this. Now, what next? She's halfway there. She has anything to steal? This. She does. She has money. Okay. Don't want to risk it though. Maybe not now. I'll do my best. Bring about a miracle of healing. I also need to heal everybody's uh What to do? Everybody's SP. So let's do that right away. Let me help. <gasps> You're really annoying. You know that? How about you? I 
Actually, it doesn't matter if he's broken or not. He's still gonna deal the same amount of damage. So might as well. Have a taste of this. Use it. What is the if I remember correctly. I might remember this wrong though. A tempest of ice shall rage. I'll do my best. Bring about a miracle of healing. She has two turns. What's this? Uh oh. Please don't kill anyone. He just silent. Victory. The shall bitch be just won. silenced Cyrus. Hoy. Silencing is not allowed in here. Use this. How dare you? My turn now. Let me help. <clears throat> What is the logical course of action? Alright. Oh. No, actually. I'm gonna wait. A tempest of ice shall rain! You're a real bitch, you know that? Uh. What do I want to do here? Right, let's uh, summon... I will not be defeated! Heal... Bring about the miracle of healing. Oh shoot! How about you? She can do that? You bitch. How about this? I think everybody's pretty much ready to just explode in her face. Let me uh let me help. Secure that. A tempest of ice shall rage. Alright, it's time for big deep. The battle is truly joy. My blade is unbending! I wreak havoc upon thee! How about you? What the fuck? Oh my god, I wanna punch you in the guts right now! I claim that! Thank you. God, I hate him so much. A tempest of ice shall rain. Here I go. I summon Shran, the Thunder Blade. There you go. Show him, Shessa. Not be defeated. It's kind of ridiculous how my freaking merchant is doing better than my freaking knight at this goddamn ultimate. Like, come on. Are you kidding me? Uh, actually, I'm just gonna do the Yoli. Oh, thank you, what? Oh, I should have. Uh, I forgot. I should have healed. Albert might die. <laughs> Alright, just I got fucked. Dear Lord. Shall be mine. Use this. My turn now. Bring about a miracle of healing. <laughs> the battle is yeah, I think because joy. it's a quote unquote easy one to break, she's it makes her stronger. 
This accuracy. I know! It's just infuriating! I am finished. What is the logical course of action? What to do? I need my healer. Let me help. Leave her alone, please. Victory she can heal? For real? An interesting oh, all right, for the love of God. I'll not be defeated. I have a... Uh... Oh, I have this. Take this! Nope. Thank you. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Let's do this. I won't hold back. I summon the thunder blade. You got more than you bargained for. There we go. We're done. Be gone! You. No! There's... You. So much more... I must learn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no way with it. Mm-hmm! Also, they did voice acting for her, but not for him. Come on. If nothing else, your devotion to the pursuit of knowledge is admirable. Unfortunately for you, you will not live. You will not live to pass that on. Be gone! A hole. From the far reaches of hell, at last, I have the original. Maybe burn it. How many lives have been lost to the dark knowledge of these pages? But no. Knowledge itself cannot be good or evil. Dude! It's a book about evil! Just burn it! Only the heart of those who would use it. You can have the purest heart if you use a book like only for evil. It's still gonna be evil. <clears throat> Cyrus, I swear to freaking god. If you don't set fire on this place, I am about to lose it I will use all the resources all the resources at my disposal to decipher this work for myself I will find the answer I seek an answer of my very own perhaps one of the tomes in the study I passed through might aid me in decipher deciphering these glyphs yes I should return we're not done. Scrutinize the archive of the ru the ruins of hell. Okay. All these books are mine. They're gone. Um. I'm not sure what he wants me to do, but... Unless it's really... Ah! I Unless I left the place and I was not supposed to. Which is very possible. Let's do this! Get the fuck out of here. Alright, I guess it was over there. Or not? Excuse me, where? What? Huh? Uh, 
Am I stupid? Am I stupid? Long last, I can begin to study the tomes in earnest. That is gonna become mad and evil. Hi, Hornbergian dic dictionary. I thought I already had it. <coughs> Let's see now. An ancient tome detailing how the twelve gods sealed away an unholy power beyond the be on the edge of the world. What's intriguing? Alright. In the page of the stone, the secret banished the secrets banished by the gods are li are likened to like like uh, whatever. To a golden fruit and an omin ominously worded warning is issued to any would covet this forbidden power. Okay, do I need to bring it to, uh, from the far reaches of hell too, or? Yes, I do. Why leave the book there when you could have just gathered them all, but whatever. Oh, I don't want to. Tome that is written in horrific detail. A forbidden right, a forbidden right to bring back the unholy power sealed away beyond the, the edge of this world. Yes, yes, I see. I do believe I have the knowledge I need to decipher the rule. Really? What a waste of time. God. It's like you killed the boss, now go go back and touch everything. Here I go! Let me go please. Tressa, come on. Hey Shibi, how you doing? I am beyond done with this game. <laughs> God, I'm so done. Victory shall be mine. Please, thank you. The unholy power at the edge of the world, as in the 13 god? I don't know. Me. If I have to go back again, I swear to god, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Death, doom, destruction! Okay. That was intriguing! <laughs> Maybe not the correct choices of word, but hey. Is it about... Is it about Galdera? I'm gonna drink. What's that the name of the... The evil god? Because I feel like they all kind of link to that. 
that one unholy power that is Galdera. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's how it feels. The unholy power at the edge of, at the edge of, is my uh, is my sanity. Jeez. Now let me let me think through all I've learned. What did the Twelve Gods do? Summon power from the edge of the world, sealed powers away beyond the edge of the world. What forbidden power did the gods seal away? The power of destruction, the power of nothingness, the power of life and death. Uh, destruction? Nope. Life and death? Uh, no. Oh, if I have to, to base, yeah, with Ophelia, it would be life and death, right? But yeah. of course! But of course! <laughs> Indeed, the power of life and death. That is the forbidden secret held within these pages. Trial of the Twelves tells the tale of how the Twelve God sealed this power away. The author of Forbidden Gold compares this power to a golden fruit. It's all about Galdera? Okay. Like a golden fruit, it calls out to and tempts the human heart. Into the pages of from, from the far reaches of hell was this power sealed. This glyphs. Yes, I believe I can decipher them now. Do you really want to deci decipher them when it says death and destruction? I mean, come on. Death, 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 death. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Distraction. We already knew that. It showed it. It showed it earlier. Come on. Oh. I think we can safely assume this is a warning of sorts. No shit. If that's not enough to tell you to not fuck with it, I mean, I don't know what to do anymore. Galdera is the god of death? Okay. A warning of the calamity that awaits us if the gate is op if the gate is bleh. if the gate is open and the forbidden unleashed. Were the mere will and tome left behind as an invitation or a warning? I'd say a warning. But of course! <laughs> but of course <laughs> I feel so judge every time he says it. Yes, the mural was left behind us warning. Am I I am sorry, I am sure of it. Indeed. Knowledge in and of itself is not inherently got inher that is not inherently good or evil. It can, however, serve either purpose. All depends on the heart of he who would use it. I'm sorry, but once again, if the knowledge, if the thing you learn is about death, no matter how you're gonna use it, it's still gonna be evil. You're still gonna, it's still death. There's no other way. It's like saying that fire can heal. No, fire's fire burn. <laughs> oh well. For the sake of our future, be not tempted by the darkness. Indeed. Yes, these dark secrets must never be allowed to put in, into practice. The mere existence of this stone is a threat. Shall I destroy it? And banishing its... Uh, and banish its baleful knowledge for all eternity? Not exactly. Oh god. No, destroying the tomb will not banish the darkness that exists in the heart in the heart of the, of men. Dude, if you destroy it, they don't have the mean to fucking summon the god of death. It doesn't erase the darkness, but at least they don't have the summoning spell to freaking unleash him. You fucking dumbass. Sorry about that. <laughs> It's like saying, here's a key to 
to the gate of hell. If you open it, everybody dies. Okay, then why why does the key still exist? Like, don't you want to destroy it? Well, because there's still darkness in men's heart. Uh, uh, if I don't have a key, I can't open the gate. Nobody's gonna die. So, destroy the key! <laughs> fire can cook, fire can heat. And knowing about death can also show how to fight against it. Yeah, but th this is about summoning it or unleashing it. Like, just destroy the goddamn tome. Flip the table. I must preserve this knowledge that we might put it to good uh, to use for good, not evil. How? It's the god of death. Thusly. I'm sorry, but like you're not gonna summon him and be like, hey, by the way. I summoned you with good attention, so uh, you need to be good. You can't kill, you can't do anything bad. We have a deal? Cool. It's not gonna work. Ugh. And yet, there is much more I must learn. I must decipher in full the contents of this stone and the mural in this place. Pass them on to those who would follow us. Typically speaking, my dad didn't need the book to cause problem. He caused problem because he knew. How would he know? Probably because of the book. If the book never existed and people didn't have the knowledge of it, then... Do I need to go there to save someone like Sam and Dean's dad? Uh, should I spoil her? I kind of want to spoil her on this, but uh, anyway. That one day she would be threatened by forces from the far reaches of hell. Yes. Our descendants will possess the knowledge needed to protect this realm. First, I must return to Asseldan and file a report on what I've seen here. Then I must begin my analysis of the material I have collected. <laughs> yes, I'll be burning the midnight oil, the, the midnight oil night after night, no doubt, and I can scarcely. Scar scarcely? Yeah, scarcely, wait. Ah, oh, scarcely or scarcely? Not sure. Oh, hey, thirsty girl. <laughs> professor, professor! What do you Over want? Over here, Therese. What do you want, horny girl? That stack of books seems to get bigger every time I see you. And I'll need twice again as many to have any hope of translating this ancient tome. Twice as many? Fascinating, is it not? A traditional fairy tale from a certain region mentioned a gate of sorts. And I could not help but notice a parallel to the mural I found. I see. Hence, these books on local folklore? Just so. Considering your subject from all possible angles is a fundamental principle of scholarly research. You know, I feel like somebody got lazy because the more I look at it, the more I feel like uh, Therese or Teresa. Is that her name? Teresa or Teresa? I don't remember. I feel like she has the exact same sprite as the evil assistant. It's just that instead of being black, she's white. Was that laziness? I don't know. 
I feel like even the outfit oh, is the same. We're very close myself. to. Might I surmise that you've come here to inform me that it's time for class? Uh, yes. You're late, Professor. Pray forgive me, Your Highness. And this is how Cyrus built his own harem. The end. Very well then, my students. Let us begin. To quote the words of one Susanna Grotoff, author of Knowledge is Light. The pursuit of knowledge is a journey with no destination. As long as people live, there is always something to learn. And so we learn, we record, we speak. Points connect, thus forming our history, our agency, our identity. This world we live in is not for or of any one individual and neither is knowledge. And so I write and speak of all that I learned to plant seeds of knowledge that will be harvested by those who follow me. To you who have found my writings, read well these words. That they may help you build a bridge to a brighter future. Horny girl. Cyrus, didn't you learn anything? Ah. All right, we're done. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's get to just chatting, guys. the time here oh we're like super early okay so here's what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a quick BRB because I need to go to the kitty's room and I will set up everything so we can start the new game all right guys so I'm gonna end the first recording for Octopath so hope you guys enjoy Octopath it, it was a very very long run uh, I may Maybe come back for the other characters. Maybe. Big maybe. We'll see. Uh, so we could have like the full on story. But for the moment, we're done. This is over. Um, we're switching to a new game because I, I need a break. This... God, this was long. So thank you guys so much for this. For sticking with me. And I hope you enjoyed the ride. On this. Goodbye for the people that are watching this video. Bye bye.